Well, I do have something to say which uh, would seem positive after all these secret talks now, and that is uh, unconfirmed reports now that uh, Lucas Papadimos, uh, the former governor of the Bank of Greece, and perhaps more importantly, uh, the former deputy president of the European Central Bank, uh, has agreed to be prime minister. There is some way to go. There is no official announcement yet. It hasn't been confirmed, but I think I'm right in saying that he is in place to take over Parliament behind me uh, for a new era of technocratic government of Greece to try to actually calm this crisis, to try to reassure the Greek people and perhaps more importantly to reassure the Eurozone. Someone who knows this man quite well uh, is the President of the Athens Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Konstantin Mikalos. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you very much. Now, you know the man, you know the background here. This is a Herculean task ahead, and he's only going to be in office for a matter of about 105 days before the, the elections between the two main parties, who are supposed to have formed a unified government. What are the prospects? Well, uh, one can't help but be optimistic that we have a new government. It's evident that the previous government, uh, totally formed by politicians, has left uh, a lot to be desired. And uh, we do need a technocratic uh, touch in order to begin to solve the huge problems facing the Greek economy. And uh, let's hope that uh, there is more technocrats that will accompany Mr. Papadimos in the formation of this government, because, as I said earlier on, Politicians have shown what they can do over the last two years, and I don't think that the results were anything to go by. Now, it is a short-term contract, a job that some would say is impossible. In brief highlight terms, what are his challenges, what has he got to do, and indeed with the rest of the Cabinet? Well, this, uh, these are critical times, and therefore critical decisions are required. He does have a very narrow time parameter. The first uh, action will have to be the ratification of the agreement that took place uh, approximately 10 days ago in Brussels concerning the uh, second aid package for Greece, but also the negotiation of the details, which uh, we have to point out to our viewers, are not known to absolutely anyone, neither to the representations uh, of the private sector, nor to other political parties, not even to the government ministers of today's government. So as soon as these are known, uh, it is sh for sure we need to negotiate these uh, terms for the benefit of the Greek economy, for the benefit of the European economy in general. Just briefly, in, in, in the challenge ahead, you've got an election coming up, so you're going to get bickering from the parties in the sidelines. Isn't that a mission impossible, I put to you? Well, that's the last thing we need at the moment. We have a specific date uh, for this early election, the 19th of February, but uh, logic must prevail. This government must get down to serious work, and it must be allowed to work in order to reach the targets that Greeks uh, desire and need. Constantine Michalos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed for that. And so that is the position here, one of tension, but it seems going in the right direction as far as the plans so far. And now we need Europe's reaction. Uh, they're putting massive pressure uh, on Greece to deliver commitments to the bailout plans.